Wait a minute. When did the PS Vita release? Oh. Hmm. That's earlier than I expected. For some reason, I thought the PS Vita was a, a, a more recent thing, because the PSP, the PSP is what I grew up playing on. That was the handheld, a lot, of, I guess, most people's handheld console when they were a kid was either the DS or the 3DS, depending on how old you were, but the PSP was the handheld console that I always used, uh, and I, when I got a little bit older and I went into middle school, and not really so much in high school, because by high school the Switch is the thing, but in middle school the, I saw more people having a PS Vita, so I thought it was newer, but no, I guess it's just... I guess I just underestimated how old the PSP is and how old the PS Vita is. I, I was I was going to highlight how I'm surprised this is here, considering I thought the last available uh, Sony console was the PlayStation 3. But anyway, that's my tirade for today. Where were we? Oh yeah, she died because she was facing the wall and she was listening to music while she's was this. I guess she was on break. She wasn't on guard duty, so we were able to sneak up on her. And then some really jank choreography happened where we somehow managed to not die. I'm not quite sure. But all, all I know is that we're still on revenge quest for Joel. We're going to the hospital to track down Nora, I think. Good. I got my girl waiting for me at the farm. You shit me? They put you with Joel again? Hey, we get the job done. <laughs> I bet you do. And I'm assuming the stair. Yep, yeah, I wouldn't get that lucky. It wouldn't just be stairs nearby. Well, let's let's go for the old prone through the tall grass strat. Seems like I'm pretty. M oh, was that a thing? Ooh, a brick. I like bricks. Seems like I'm pretty much indestructible if I just prone my way through the tall grass. And given how clunky the combat is in this game, the less man, that that sure is some reach you have there, Ellie. The less fighting I have to do, the happier I am. So that's what we're gonna. Oh, should I be paying attention to their dialogue? I probably should be paying attention to the dialogue. I also assume that they were, they're they're plotting they're plotting my plan they're plotting their plan to kill me. Oh, it's a dog. Great. Well, fortunately, there's no way he can detect my scent yet, right? Uh oh. No. This. Got something, bear. Smell something, boy? Just take a brick. Who was that? I got it. Go. There's no there's no way. We looked. Nothing. Come on, boy. He's got the Alright, time to run. I tried the stealthing route. Didn't work. So now we're gonna run for the hills. Combat is an absolute last resort. Oh my god. Huh. I can hear that dog. I can hear it pounding on me. Okay, can we move any faster, please? Huh. Not sure how that worked. Go through the door. Please don't tell me this is one of those ones you have to jam open. Of course it is, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is! Of course it is! Because nothing's ever easy. All right, just kill me. Or that. That works, too. Yeah, just, just someone just shoot me. Just, is there, are there, where? Hi, kill me. Kill me. Faster, please. Thank you. <sighs> Fucking god, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I. <sighs> yeah, but the infection was what we had to worry. Just, I'll just, I'm just gonna let the dog kill me. I just, I don't, I don't fucking care. But remember, guys, the infected were what we really had to worry about. Even though 99% of the conflict in this game so far has come from humans. I'm sure the big threat that we really had to worry about was getting Ellie to the hospital to make sure we could craft the immunity thing. That has definitely been the root cause of all these problems. It's not It's not like by this point humanity's too far gone for that to, to realistically do anything and that the bigger issue is the human dra the, the inner faction drama between humans and the monsters that already exist which a cure wouldn't do anything to stop. Not like anyone thought about literally any of that. In the first game. Except, apparently, Joel. Well, I mean, m maybe Joel wasn't thinking about all the specifics that I went over in the first game about how Ellie... Getting Ellie to the hospital really wouldn't have changed anything in the grand scheme of things. His, his primary concern was most likely just, oh, Ellie's gonna die. 
because and they're they're gonna operate on her and kill her without a percent without her consent. That's kind of like really wrong. I should probably stop that. Oh my god. All right, that worked. You do not have something. I will throw this brick if I have to. Just take that brick. I don't know where that dog is, but I, the fact that I can just do that and it, it, it's like in, in execution, what would really happen is that maybe the dog would get distracted for like a a moment, a brief, a fleeting moment, but they get right back to my trail immediate. What? Okay, I guess you can see me now. Well, let me grab you, kill you silently. I guess my my prone strat no longer works. They didn't fire a shot, so we're still, still stealthing. Still stealthing. I just don't want that dog to come in here. Oh, well, it ripped the dream. Take an axe. You know, I feel like I just can't lose as long as I have this axe. Because they're just one shot to everything. Oh, can I, can I make a break for it? Oh, thank goodness I can make a break for it. It's really inconvenient how every time there's a room with a million enemies, the, the exit door is just partially- not fully blocked, just partially blocked. Well, that dog's not a worry to me anymore because it's sealed behind that door, so we're safe. We are safe to proceed. The care you need, the people you trust. Where in the area, family medicine? I don't need those signs. I have my own sign, and it's called the Adventure- I'm just gonna call it the Adventure Arrow. I compared it to the adventure line from Stanley Parable, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the adventure arrow. Oh, this is a great idea. I also don't know what Nora looks like. Never mind, I guess that's her. The fuck was Abby here? I'm not stupid. You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this. I'm gonna say what I think happened. I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora! I'm not going down for her, man. So Abby was locked up here in a cell at one point. Interesting, so there's some tension among the WLF. quieter than I thought it was going to be. Tape? Why not? Don't scream. Put that shit down. You remember me? You remember me. What do you want? Abby was here earlier. Where'd she go? I don't know. You shoot me. The sound will have every soldier come running. You'll still be dead. Tell me where she went and I'll think about letting you go. We could have killed you. Why didn't you? Maybe you should have. As I'm still waiting for an answer. Why didn't? Fuck out of Jackson. Where's Abby? You still hear his screams? What? I hear them every night. Yeah. Yeah, that little bitch got what he deserved. You fucking <laughs> Really? Really? No, Ellie, you're smarter than that. Like, and also, fucking metal plate to the face. Oh no, a bed. Oh, whatever will I do? Not another bed. Oh no, the first one was so tough. The first one almost killed me. Oh, wow. Great. Just. just I don't care who who that attracted. 
This is a cinematic sequence, so I'm, I'm going to be fine. What the hell were you doing? Oh, that's what you're doing. Well, fortunately for you, they're quick, but I'm much faster. Oh, sorry, unfortunately for you, they're quick, but I'm much faster. Whoa, that... <laughs> I teleported forward some distance there. I feel like I, I would need to go back through that, uh, that scene in slow motion to really get a proper grasp on what happened in there. Because I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not quite clear on the specifics behind what, how we went from, uh, okay. How we went from Ellie pointing a gun at her to Ellie getting outwitted by getting hit by a plate thing. Alright, interesting. Whenever this game does action, it doesn't always work out that well. That was very lucky timing. Back up! Put your gun down! You can walk away from this, okay? I can- Shut the fuck up! Gun down! Hands up! Get back! You have nowhere to go. Except down. Ah, spores. I was wondering what was down here. My first thought was going to be Clicker, but then I was like, well, that would wreck the pace. We had to fight a Clicker or a Shambler here. I think I called them Scramblers in a couple episodes ago. And I think I'm going to keep calling them Scramblers because I like that name better. Oh. I wouldn't still happen to have a brick. I sure don't. But I do have this. Oh, never mind. There is a clicker down here. Hey, you wouldn't mind having you wouldn't mind killing them for me, would you? Oh my god. Thanks. I didn't realize there were clickers down here. But hey, that that works. I will take what I can get. For a second, I thought that was a trail of blood, but no, it was just the, the guts, the disgusting traces of the infected littering this hospital. You, you know, I, I don't know that Nora had enough time to cover this amount of distance. I mean, the thing is, I don't really... I've said before that I'm, I'm still not really that emotionally pulled by this story. But if I was to be emotionally pulled by this story, I feel like all I would be really interested in is Abby. And maybe that dude he was, she was with, what was his name? Owen, I think? I feel like it was Owen. I don't know anybody else. I don't know who any of these other people are. I'm sure they were in that room. I just don't remember them because I wasn't paying attention to what they looked like or who they were. I didn't really care. It was more so focused on Joel, Ellie, and <laughs> professional golf player Abby. So none of these, like, I don't, I don't know who, it's not like this is some rival that has been built up throughout the whole game. This is just another face to me. Like, maybe, maybe the game made a big deal about her. Like, maybe she was the one who grabbed Ellie when she burst into the room or the one pinning her to the floor. I honestly, I honestly don't know. There was, I just, I don't know, but e either I, I don't know, it just, I, I don't feel like there's a big personal connection here. Obvi like, obviously she was a part of the team that killed Joel, but that's the thing, I don't know anything about, I don't know if they were all, I assume they were all agreed to do it, obviously, that they agreed to do it because they were there, but I don't know if they were all doing it because it was part of the team or because they all want revenge against Joel, and I guess now we know that obviously he's like, he got what he deserved, but it just doesn't feel, I feel like the, the, the your main priority here is, should be Abby, if anyone, and I just don't. 
I'm still not connecting with this story like the game clearly wants me to. Where's Abby? <coughs> Breathing spores. And again, this just goes to show sh they should have killed Ellie. I, I thought I thought that they were going to explain why they didn't kill her when she said we could have killed you. I thought, oh, maybe we're going to get an explanation, and then they just didn't. So there goes that. You firefly. <laughs> there are no fireflies anymore. <clears throat> Where's Abby? I'm fucking dead anyway. Why would I tell you anything? Because I can make this slow or I can make it quick. Because I can make it quick. Oh. Or I can make it so much worse. Literally exactly what she said. <laughs> Think about what he did. How many people are dead because of him? So, I have thought extensively about what- okay. I have thought extensively about what Joel did, and he was 100% justified in what he was doing. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. I'm assuming you're referring to his massacre at the hospital. I'm not quite sure if you're aware of this, but they were going- they were going to operate on Ellie without her consent, which would result in them, you know, killing her. And it, was, it would all be to achieve, a, to maybe create a cure when uh, that wouldn't even solve. There, there's so many different layers to this. Just base level, they were going to kill a kid without her consent. Already wrong. Next level, would the cure even, would they even be able to make a cure with the limited information and subjects they have available to them? I'm guessing no. Next level, let's say they can make the cure. Would the cure even solve anything? No, it wouldn't. Because that by this point, the main thing ravaging the world isn't the virus anymore. It's, all the, it's the results of the virus that's already corrupted everything. It's the clickers that are roaming around, and it's the faction drama between all the remaining survivors. So you really aren't solving any problems here. And that's assuming you can even get to distribute it around the world, in fact. Next step, would they even want to do that? Would they even want to use it for beneficial purposes? I think the answer to that, to that is just no. Just across the board, there is no way this... W like, y I feel like Nora needs a refresher for what happened at the end of the last game. Where Joel was literally giving CPR to Ellie and they knocked him out. And they were going to walk him into, out, out of the hospital without any of his stuff. It just... Ugh. I'm not giving up, my friend. Okay. Then I guess it's time to play some golf. What would have been better if we got a golf club? Just saying. Oh, back here again. So that whole quest was pointless then? We didn't even get any information about where Abby is? I mean, I guess we killed Nora, but like... Is that... I feel like, I, I don't know. I, I get that Ellie wants all of them dead. She, she won't stop until everybody is killed. But we're still no closer to getting to, to cutting off the head of the snake. And how did you even get out of that hospital in one piece? It's me. You fell down into the, the spore hell and there were guards all the way over that building. Whatever. Are you okay? Christ. Uh, no. The answer is no. The answer is a solid no. Out in the, uh, oh. In this aquarium. Alright, I take back what I said. I take back what I said. I, I thought that the game was implying with the whole 
press square three times and cut to black that she just beat her until she died. I, I, guess, I guess she did get information out of her about where Abby was. Okay. All right. I retract that statement then. I, I, however, I'm not. What I'm not retracting is how the hell did you get out of that hospital in one piece, with all with how swarmed that place was with guards and how deep you how deep into the hospital you got. Mm, I don't know, man. Feel like you wouldn't have survived. Arms up. made her talk. See that? Oh. That. I really don't like this bouncing back and forth we're doing with the timelines. It really feels like we can't just sit in the. Is that, after a serious moment like that, we just need time to sit with it. We, we, I don't like that we, uh, we always jump back to a flashback, but that's, that, that, that was actually effective. To not have Ellie say anything that didn't. From the second she got back to the, the theater, you can see her hands quivering and she's trembling with what she just done because she'd never done anything to that extent before. She's obviously killed people to stay alive, but when she had someone corner their backs, backs against the wall and she beat the shit out of her to, just to get information, she's never had to do something like that before. And you can tell how much it's affecting her. Just with the, the motion capture and imp on, the, on her face... With just all the little nuances of her, how her eyes were darting, her, the spaces between her breasts, where where her attention was fixated, everything about that, the the acting from Ashley Johnson was exemplary, and all she needed to say was just, "I made her talk." That's it. That's all you needed because you know what's on her mind. You know what she's wrestling with. She's just struggling to process what happened as she's all beaten and scarred. More stuff like that, please. Same damn thing I said from the first game. When you play to your strengths, you can do really great stuff. I don't know why we aren't always doing, like, it just... I guess much like the first game. Well, I guess, I don't know, it, it's... I really, I really don't see that much of a difference between, at least generally speaking, Joel's death is probably the thing that's tipping it slightly in favor of The Lost of Us. I'm trying to figure out which one is... More cons more coherent in terms of a script so far. I think it's probably The Last of Us one, just because Last of Us two has Joel's death and that was exceptionally terrible. But the main plot of both games is running pretty much the same, and with w w the decisions people are making, how the plot is progressing. That's all pretty much the same with contrivances and breaking gaps in logic. And when the when you get character moments, they 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 if they're effective, they work. The problem. The problem is that we aren't getting that many of them in this game, because we're paired up with someone with whom we have no chemistry. Everyone else is either dead or missing in action. So when you just have a moment right there for Ellie, 
it, it's effective, it works, they sold it, you nailed it. I would like more stuff like that. And I would also love, pace, pacing-wise, the first game ain't perfect there either. I've made it clear that the first game has some very bizarre pacing issues. But this game has them too. In a bit of a different way, but it's still, it's still there. Instead of cutting from Henry and Sam dying to happy-go-lucky chat, uh, chatter in the wilderness, it's Ellie just tor be tortured the hell out of someone, bathed in red light and bathed in blood, and now she's wrestling with that, even though she got the information she wanted. And then smash cut to whatever this is. Or back previously, it's like, oh my god, Dina's pregnant, this is terrible, what are we gonna do? This is amazing, you, you, we shouldn't be here right now, this is incredibly dangerous for you. And then smash cut to Joel and Ellie having a great time, it's, I don't, I don't get the pacing of the Last of Us games. I just, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I've no, I'll never understand it. So I guess all this is to say, the Last of Us series so far has been a bit of a mixed bag. And I just wish it would, it would maintain the highs more so than it maintains the lows. But I still do not see, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm seeing more, not, after that scene, I can see a little more of where this game can go with the, the, taste for violence and revenge consuming Ellie and transforming her character into a monster she never hopes to become. There's interesting stuff you can do with that, so I'm, st I'm, I'm starting to get a better sense of where this game might be headed, and I can see it, I can see it really excelling if it, if it hits the right notes. So, but, but still, have not reached the point where it becomes a masterpiece or a pile of shit. It just, it's just perfectly average so far. Average because it's bound. No, average not because the whole thing is meh, but because it's balanced up by really high highs and unbearably low lows and a bit of middling Seattle open world adventuring here and there. Anyway, back to the game. Two years earlier, for some reason. This feels like a dream sequence. Walking down a seemingly endless hallway. This kind of just feels like a dream sequence. Even though it's not. It's a flashback. Not quite sure what we're doing here. I guess maybe just a supply run. in the middle of the night like that. You talk to me. You don't just leave me a goddamn note. Tell me what happened here. If you lie to me one more time, I'm gone. You will never see me again. 
But if you tell me the truth, I'll go back to Jackson. No matter what it is. Making a vaccine. Would have killed you. So I stopped them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch me! I'll go back. But we're done. What? What? Okay, I'm confused. What the fuck just happened? What the f- what? What? Wait a minute. No, whoa, whoa. Okay, um... So what I was- what I was prepared- what I was thinking during that cutscene was two things. A. I care way more about this storyline than I do about whatever the hell Dina and Ellie are getting up to. This is legitimately interesting stuff that th there's so much potential in this side of the story. And I was legitimately glued to the screen, breathless, waiting to see what they would say next. And B, God, these two can act so well. Their performances and the motion capture technology is above and beyond. It is phenomenal. And they are killing it. Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson are killing their roles just like they did in the first game. I might even say that they're, they're a step above the first game with their performance this time around. But then... I'm, I'm struggling to find the words to prop... Okay, so... Ellie ran away, I assume, because she's mad that Joel lied to her. Right? Because I, I, I like... I don't know what else she could be mad at, because I don't know how the game could expect... Me to think that's a reasonable reaction if what she's mad at is that he stopped them from killing her without her permission. Like, I don't, I, I, it has to just be that he lied to her. Which, hey, if you want to be done with someone because they lied to you for all these years, that's your prerogative. I don't think Ellie would do that considering, you know, everything they've been through together. But I assume that's what this is about and not the fact that he saved her from dying with, when she didn't consent before. Like, it's not like, it's not like she... If she had told the Fireflies, hey, you can kill me to save the world, and then Joel stepped in and did it of his own accord against Ellie's wishes, that's one thing. But that clearly wasn't what happened in the end of the first game. Especially because, like, so, it's really important that Ellie said, well, shortly after they met the giraffe, that after this is over, I'll go anywhere you want. That was a really important line, because it showed, A, that she trusted him after all they've been through together, and B, that she didn't expect to die at that hospital. And she was unconscious the whole way through. Because she was knocked out in the, the QTE cinematic water sequence, and then didn't wake up again until she was in the back of Joel's car driving away. So I'm, I'm just confused. I'm, I don't understand what the game wants me to think happened there. I, I, I'm assuming it's just that she's mad that he lied. Which, yeah, I, I don't know why Joel initially... I, I said this previous in the last flashback. I get why initially Joel wanted to keep things under wraps so that he didn't want to burden her with all the knowledge when she was still young. But once she's, like, 17 and she's close to being an adult, 
or if you want to wait till she is an adult to tell her this, then whatever. When she's older and she's able to more, more completely process what happened, that would be a good time to drop the lies and sit her down and explain exactly what happened. Instead of what you just, what you did. I, this whole thing is, is weird. And, oh, and, and also, it would be, would be really nice if Joel said more than just that. Like, that's, of course, that's the most important thing, is that they were going to kill you. But there's a lot more around the circum surrounding the circumstances of that, that whole vaccine hospital firefly thing that he just didn't bring up. Like, all the stuff I've been talking about ad nauseum throughout the last two LPs. No? All right. You do you, Joel. You do you. <sighs> so Abby's hiding out in an aquarium, huh? I see. The war, the merrier. Hey, look, Joel. It's your favorite. When they run off to? Dina, Jesse. Where are those two? No, seriously. Where do they run off to? I'm actually getting kind of concerned. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to, no, 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 I didn't realize that was what I was picking up, no, I didn't, I don't want to practice the goddamn guitar, I don't want to practice the goddamn guitar, I'm so sick of playing the stupid guitar, I just want to continue with the story, I don't need to play Take On Me. Oh, okay, I thought something bad might have happened to them. Unless, although, wait, it's only Jesse. Where's Dina? Oh, wait, never mind. They're both here. Okay. Okay, never mind. I only saw one of them. We're safe. All's well that ends well. I thought I thought something bad might have happened to one of them. She had a rough night. Barely could get her to keep water down. You should have woken me up. Is she pregnant? Yeah. came out here but we got to take her back she needs real care and she's not gonna get that yeah, I, know. I know but I can't just leave Tommy he's out here because of me maybe you could take her back she's not gonna leave without you It. Let's get down. This aquarium that girl told you about. Tommy hasn't found Abby yet. We'll post up there until he does. And you're good with leaving Dina by herself? Her orders. Okay. Let's go tell her we're leaving then. I'll just meet you up front. Yeah. Crazy going from the Joel and Ellie side of the story to the Dina and Jesse side of the story. Neither of whom is a character that I give even a singular shit about.
need you to lock the door for us. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, and this is more of a nitpick. But I am kind of getting sick of the same environment throughout the whole game. Like, the first game didn't have great environmental variety, but it had a decent environmental variety. This game, everything just feels the same because it's all in Seattle, and the flashbacks don't really do much to alleviate that issue. Okay. It just kind of grows tiresome to look at at some point. And all, it also doesn't help that the environment itself isn't that visually interesting. It's just dull, drabby, stormy Seattle. Sorry to anyone who lives in Seattle, I'm sure it's a beautiful city, but the way this game portrays it is dry, drab, and miserable. We're hoping to find Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't tell her you knew. That's what you're... I wasn't. A jumping animation is still so stupid. I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Joel had uh, falling out with some fireflies. No, former fireflies. Shit. Locked. Fear not. Whenever something is blocked, there's a convenient hole nearby that you can negotiate your way through. And there may also be some clickers around the corner. I'm just waiting for a clicker to pop up any minute now. Hey, give me a hand. Pretty sure you weren't that close by me. But I'll let it go. I'll let it slide just this once. Just this once, though. Through here. I just gotta ask. Why didn't she tell me about it? The pregnancy. Listen, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it. When <laughs> Who did you hear it from? I see a brick. And so a brick I shall take. Yoink. Brick belonged to me. And I shall now use the power of brick to distract them. Eh. I want every single one of you to follow that brick noise. I guess it's not going to be every single one of you, but it's going to be some of you. Uh oh. Take another brick. Yep, yep, that's that's good. Everybody look away. Everybody look away. Can you move? You're going to move your ass? Uh, grab him. Please kill him quickly. Please kill him quickly. Thank you. No one knows we're here. Yet. Okay, we're safe. Give me the ammo. Just keep moving. Slowly but surely. Should have saved a brick. Should have saved a damn brick. There wouldn't happen to be any bricks nearby. What there? It would seem that there would not be any bricks nearby. What is this? Oh, um... See, I wish I knew how much further we had to go. Oh my god, there- Oh, okay, well, I guess we're running. I got too distracted. Stop paying attention. Guess now we're just gonna run for the hills. I was gonna say I wish I knew how much more we had to go before we were safe. Now I guess it doesn't matter because our cover's been blown. Just run like the wind. I said, thank, in here. I think we're in the clear. I think we are in the clear. Yep, we're good. We're safe. Safe. What were you saying? Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's going to keep it? I don't.
Obvious joke is obvious. I'll let you make it for me. And if you don't know, then just look up the road work ahead meme. And your life will become 20 times better immediately. I believe that's a scientifically proven fact, actually. Look at this mess. <sighs> the aquarium. It's right next to that Ferris wheel. Of course it is. It's the furthest possible place away. More trekking through the city. Damn it. See, like, why? Why Why point me here when I clearly have to go this way? Why do that? Under the sea. Please kill me. Swimming's not fun. You couldn't have just not learned how to swim between games. You could have kept me out of the water. That's so much to ask. This trek will only be worth it if there is, if we can actually take a ride on the Ferris wheel. Otherwise, I would like my refund for this vacation. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Think you can get through there? Let's see. I would have come, you know. If you told me you were leaving. You know, that's a great point, Jesse. I feel like Joel would be pretty well liked among those townsfolk. You'd think that there'd be more than just Ellie and Dina that would want to go on this revenge quest. Maybe if you would ask more people, we could have gotten a better army. But rip that dream. I guess coming down here is correct. Give me mixed signals at first. You just ran all the way up top. Or the, the arrow pointed me all the way up top and then it pointed me back down. There! Go get the what? What? Got him! Sweep the area for survivors. I thought we were spotted for a moment. Good job, boy. Stupid goddamn dog. What is this? Oh, brick. Just what I needed. Where are they? I hear them, but I don't... Oh, there they are. You won't detect my scent. You will not detect my scent. Looks like you detected my scent. Well, um, now I'm gonna redirect my scent over in that direction. Yep. You go, boy. Everyone in this game is has the exact same IQ level. They all fall for the same trick. No one ever stops to wonder where the brick came from. They just worry about where the brick landed. And it appears I got too... Got too greedy again. Got too careless of my movement. But we're hoping that the power of... Running speed will be enough to... Oh, don't tell me... Okay, good, we're going underneath. Good. No way they can sw No way that dog's catching up to me underwater. It's the one benefit of being able to swim. Is that the water, the the dog, I'm at it. The, the dog's at a major disadvantage in this chase. And we lost him. Too easy. Too easy. At this point, it's almost like a challenge to me, for me to be able to determine precisely how much of this game, or how much of this combat I don't have to engage with. Because if I don't have to engage with the combat... Bet your ass I won't. I dislike the combat that much. Maybe. Or maybe because the game designers just felt like being a big old bag of dicks. Could also be that. That could also be a perfectly valid reason for why. We have to travel across the entire goddamn city to get to the stupid Ferris wheel. Jesus. How the hell are we crossing this? We could use that road. It's pretty fucking far. Or we use that. Yeah. That's better. Come on. This way. Like, whenever, it's whenever we get to these sections where it's just two characters 
wandering from point A to point B, shambling through one tedious combat slash stealth section to one to another combat slash tedious section. And it's just so goddamn... It, it's legitimately tiring. At the beginning of the episode, when we were making our way into the hospital and we were getting some store stuff with Nora and Ellie and Joel and all the gang, that was that was engaging. I like that. And then we get to this, and my my brain just wants to shut down for the day. It's it doesn't appeal. This this I just I'm not I'm not compelled by this style of d design. It, it would help if Ellie and Jesse had any chemistry with each other, but they almost have less chemistry than Ellie and Dina have with each other, which is almost admirable in a way, but to make it any less tiresome. To, I really can't think of a better word than tiresome, because that's exactly how I, I, I just yawned. I'll probably cut out of the recording, but I legitimately yawn, because I'm, I'm actually fighting the urge to fall asleep. Oh, God. Units report. Over. Shit. You four, take the land bridge to the marina. The rest of you, and we'll hear. Wait for orders. What the fuck? We're supposed to wait here while our guys are being sniped? We have our orders. We have more than enough people to take care of one. Oh, sure. Jesse's allowed to climb first, but not Ellie. Ellie can't go first. Gotta be Jesse. Ooh. You know, I could have climbed the rope since I, you know, got to it first. But no, it'll lock me, it'll restrict me down to waiting around until Jesse got his sorry ass up here first. We can get to the marina through here. No, we're taking a boat. You heard them right, they're talking about Tommy. We don't know that. Who else is it gonna be? If it is him, he'll be gone by the time we get there. Abby is where he'll be headed, so if we just what fall... What if he's in trouble? He can take care of himself. Jesus Christ. The best way to help Tony is to go after Abby. You do this, I'm not saving your ass again. Sorry, Ellie. Remind me... Who saved whose ass? I don't... I feel like you two have been working together. Got the engine back. I also feel like... Ellie should prioritize the safety of Tommy over getting revenge on Abby. Doesn't seem like something she would be willing to do at the expense of looking after the people she cares about. Yeah, you don't hear that. You don't hear that. You don't hear any of that. Nope. You didn't hear me get out of the water. Even though you were looking right at it, you didn't see or hear a single thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Didn't realize you were right there. Okay, well. See, previously when I was standing right in front of the window, you literally saw nothing. So I was kind of hoping that you would... Oh no, it broke. Alright, I guess... I guess it can't last forever. I was kind of hoping that you would once again see absolutely nothing. Alright, do I actually have to shoot people this time? Looks like I might have to... In that's water, is what I just fell into right there. Oh, that's great. Oh, that. Oh, this is great. This is great. Back to good old reliable, huh? The knife with the 20% success rate. Ow, my god. Ow. Of course it's not reloaded. Of course it's not reloaded. Why would it be? And of course, oh my, oh hey, I'll, I'll take that axe. I'll take your axe, thanks. I was looking forward to that. Like, I was kind of missing my old axe. Man. 
Ah. Right then. Not today, sir. Oh, back back with the whole yelling names thing, huh? It's doing a great job of making me really sympathize with these characters. See, previously I I didn't know they had names. I just assumed they were referred to as things one, two, and three. But now that I know they have a name, it's like, well, I'm really considering the consequences of my actions here. Give me a whole new outlook on life. Said no one ever. Oh no, Lee! No! Oh, that's water. That's why I can't do that from there. Please, I... Man, if only it swung the direction I wanted to swing. Wouldn't that be so cool? Why didn't you just make a fucking television show you clearly didn't want to make a video game? I don't even know why I'm pretending to give a shit. I'm just gonna turn it down to very light. There's no point in pretending I give a singular shit about actually playing this game. Oh no, I've been spotted. Oh well. God, I hate the goddamn floating aim. So annoying. Thanks for the hammer. Into the water we go. I said into the water we go. Oh, look at the boat. Alright, cool. I sure am. Sure am, bitch. Boat's mine. Oh, this. I love this quick time event. Can you make me drive the boat now? Oh, 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 oh boy. Driving away. This feels like an Indiana Jones sequence. You know, we could have just swam. I get that the... Hey game, if, if, if I can go either direction, why did you point me to the left and then once I start going left, point me to the right? Why did you do that? What was the... Why, why would you... Why, why do you hate me so much, game? Don't mind me just pushing forward, nothing's happening. Don't mind me. Guess I'll just have to assume that this way can work. We probably could have just swam here. We're gonna hit a dead end at some point? Surprisingly, not yet. Or maybe not a dead end, but a road, an obstacle that prevents the boat from going any further. It's more like what I'm referring to. Yep. Right on cue. Alright, let's... Use listen mode to locate the boat of... <laughs> sure. Boat, huh? Oh, that was easy. Like, genuinely, I really... The, the people told me the gameplay was improved in the second one, so I expected that if nothing else, I would enjoy playing the game more. I don't. I might actually enjoy it less. Oh, really? You waited until after an entire boat section to tell me that there were alternate boat controls available to me? Not that I need them, but it would have been cool for our other players to know that that was there instead of waiting until right now to mention that. Anyway... I, what I was hoping for out of this game was a story worth discussing. And I get that 5% of the time. The rest of it is this. And this is boring as shit. I feel like I'm going to piss off everybody when I say that. Because the people who hate this game with a fire passion are going to be like, What? But but the, but, but the story sucks, though. Game Gameplay good. I enjoy playing the game. And the people who, who think this game is a masterpiece are going to be like, What? You find it boring, so really nobody wins here. Re really, no one's happy with this, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend to have fun when I'm just bored out of my mind. And I've never enjoyed the gameplay of The Last of Us all that much, if at all. But I enjoy the first game more than the second game. Oh, good. I'm just gonna keep driving forward in my boat, and you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna watch and laugh as you try to stop me. I wonder if there's some kind of a boost function on this thing, or anything other than going at 0 0.1 miles per light year. Crash through. Of course, would've been too easy. I just don't find this to be a very engaging gameplay system, to be perfectly honest with you. I find all of this completely arbitrary. Like, I genuinely, I'm not kidding when I say I'm excited to watch. I, so far, I have enjoyed The Last of Us show significantly more than I've enjoyed The Last of Us game. Because I get all the benefits of the story without any of the frustrations of the gameplay. I can It's only the highlights. It's only the important story moments 
and then the moments that would ordinarily be gameplay feel they're not as plentiful, so they feel more more deliberately spaced out, more pivotal to the story, and really, really well shot and choreographed, like they're legitimately tense. The clickers actually feel like an intimidating threat who operate under a consistent set of rules instead of just, oh, you're standing in front of them, not, ma not making a sound, but they still hear you nonetheless somehow. It's, it's really great stuff. No, I don't want to... I did. I made a mistake. I, should, I didn't want to activate the goddamn workbench. And similarly here, it, I would rather experience this... I feel like I would be liking this a lot more if I, were, if I could just get the story and cut out all the gameplay. I, I know you're probably sick of me hearing, t hearing me talk about it. And I'm sorry if you are. But I really don't know how else to say it. I... Everything about this game feels just tacked on everything about this game's gameplay feels tacked on because they're they feel like they have to for the sake of making it a video game when they clearly just wanted to tell a story and they don't seem to realize that you're allowed to tell the story without worrying about oh what don't make me fight a clicker or a bloater or a shambler see and right on cue arbitrary bloater because fuck you, that's why. Just actually fuck you. Wondered whether you fucked were in Seattle. And especially when the game like it's just it's just shooting it until it dies. That's all it is. There's no strategy here. They're just ginormous bullet sponges. That's all there is to it. It's dumb as shit. I'd, I would much rather f watch Ellie fight a bloater with some really cool cinematography and choreography than I would actually fight the bloater. Well, I mean, hey, credit where credit's due. The bloaters die faster in this game than they did in the first game, but still. It just, like, th there was no point to that. Okay. Back to that damn Ferris wheel. I honestly believe if you cut the clickers and blows out of the game, you will lose nothing and can only serve to gain from that decision. That's why in the Left Behind DLC, I was loving it every time we got back to the past, and I hated it every single goddamn time we got back to the future. Because the future was all stupid stealth and combat and gameplay. And the past was all really gripping character stuff that flushed out Ellie some more and showed us a bit more of what what might have been. Instead, there's an arbitrary blockage in our path that I had to run all the way up here and pull us out of the way. And also fight a bloater for a little bit. And I don't know why I did that when I haven't even raised the gate yet. Let's -a go. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Almost there. Are we almost there? I kinda can't tell. Everything looks miserable and exactly the goddamn same. I have no idea where we are or where we're, I'm, I'm strictly referring to the, the, the arrow. If I didn't have this arrow, I would probably be even more miserable, honestly. So maybe something interesting will happen when we get to the aquarium. Maybe. Hopefully. Especially because I don't know what I just, I've just remembered. I don't know why I didn't, it took me this long to rip, to connect the dots here. But the, uh, the, I, the main menu that I had questions about in... Like, when we first booted up the game, and I was like, hey, why is there a random-ass boat in the main menu? I... Well, we're in, we're in that... I'm assuming this is the boat from the main menu. So, hey, presumably, theoretically, maybe that means that something interesting is about to happen. Where, where we're going. Or, maybe not, because obviously we just got catapulted out of our boat, but it was a nice thought, at least. It was a nice thought on paper. And it just kind of feels like we're playing Life is Strange now with the whole moving through a storm towards the destination thing. But I guess this would be a good time to say that, hey, this game sure does look amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful video game. And a marvel of, of, of technical achievement. Too bad it's not fun to play. And I, I really, I, I, I get the sense that what I am not liking about this game is radically different from what other people are not liking about this game. Because I've, I've, as I've said a million times before, I've seen people refer to this in the same vein that I do to things like Toy Story 4, where it's like the worst thing ever created and it destroyed the entire series. 
and maybe that is the case. Maybe, maybe, maybe it just, maybe everything about this game that sucks is just condensed into the back half, or like the last third of it, however far we are into this game. Hi, Shark. But I have yet to see that. And all my issues are strictly in, in regards to how this game plays. And not to do with how it's, well, I mean, I do have... I obviously do still have issues with how the story is told and some of the choices they made, but nothing, nothing that, no, nothing that feels like it stands out too much in the first game except for Joel's death. And at, this, at this point, I just feel like I'm repeating myself, but that's probably because nothing interesting has happened in this game for quite a while. I do like the aquarium design, though. Brings back memories of when I would go to the aquarium as a kid. The very infrequent times that I would go to the aquarium as a kid. I remember one of my friends had a, uh, a birthday party at an aquarium. I don't know why. It's such a bizarre place to have a birthday party. But that's where he wanted it. Where the fuck are you? So that's where he had it. And I don't remember much from it except that we were all stuck in a dark room watching some kind of movie. I really have no... It clearly didn't stick out that much in my memory. Well, it couldn't have been that great of a birthday party. Oh, great. Good old flashlight shaker. Well, rip that dream. I can't wait to find that Abby isn't even here. Oh. Joy. Hey, dog lovers in the comments. I had no choice. I had to kill the dog. But also, the dog was trying to murder me. It's called self-defense. I'm sorry, but had I done nothing, the dog would have killed me. Now, what's going on here? What fuck happened here? Now, as I was saying, what are the odds that Abby isn't even here right now, and we just crossed the stormy seas for literally nothing? Oh, wait, wait, I hear voices. Oh, Owen, I recognize that name. Oh. Oh, who's Mel? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't. Go back. <sighs> Fuck you, Owen. Hands up. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? You give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. Come here. Fucking get over here! Point to where she is on this map. And then you... Fucking match up. Okay. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth Stop. it. Stop! We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking point! What? What? Wait, what? Why? How did that. Fuck. Why? Why you put it to she? Tell me where Abby is. She? Where the fuck is she? Why would you? I, I need a minute. I can't. I... What? What just? I, I'm, I'm, I'm conf I, I need to, I need to, that was, I, I, uh. Why is Ellie so fucking stupid in this game? Like, I can't, I. I don't believe you're that dumb. You really got that much tunnel vision to where you let Owen get the jump on you. 
And not only that, you you took them out in such a way where you you kill them. Your your method of immobilizing them and neutralizing them as threats was to murder them by stabbing them in the throat. Both of them. Even though the only reason that this all happened in the first place is because they were they had information you needed about where Abby was. What? <laughs> It, 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 it's, 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 it literally, she's literally like, tell me where she is after, after stabbing him in the fucking throat. Why? Why is everyone so stupid? Oh yeah, only you just now realize what you've done, huh, Ellie? What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, game. Come, no! You're not. <laughs> okay, no, fuck, fuck this. I'm not. You can't. Okay, no. So, in this specific playthrough, I have gone out of my way to avoid killing as many people as I possibly can because I hate the combat in this game. But a regular player playing this game would slaughter everybody they come across mercilessly. That's the natural course of action in this game. Is that you kill all those people because they are trying to kill you. So, all that's fine. That doesn't phase her at all. But she kills this woman who's pregnant, and all of a sudden it's like, Oh my god, what have I done? I'm a monster. It's like, Ellie, are you even vaguely aware of the blood, of the, the sheer path of genocidal carnage you've carved to get to this point? Like, don't even... Don't it, and but putting all that aside... She tried this- what was her name? Mel. Mel tried to kill Ellie. She went for the jugular. She tried to murder Ellie. Ellie killed her in self-defense. None of that is changed by the discovery that she's pregnant. I- <sighs> I guess this is what I get for saying that I was falling asleep. The game heard that and I was like, oh, wow. Well. I, let's mix things up. I, let's just add water instantly. Bring on the bullshit to keep him from falling asleep. Hey. What? <laughs> Ellie. Ellie. Sure, and I and I guess Tom just wait. What? How did you bolt? When? Did, what? Let's go. Of course, they're just both right here. At this exact... No. No. No, I swear to God. Okay, if it turns out at any point that one of those fuckers, like Abby herself, grabs that map and uses it to figure out where their home base is, I'm gonna throw something at my goddamn screen. That is so... No shot. She would have missed the... Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's alright. It's okay. You know, I think that might be about all I can take of this game today. I think I'm gonna need to. We're gonna need to take a break and come back tomorrow, refreshed, recharged, and ready to go. I was not prepared for that at all. That it's like it goes. The game goes for long stretches of time where nothing happens at all, and then to make up for it, it condenses all of its inane garbage down into these small little pockets of cringe and stupidity. 
Yeah, dude. This game is an experience. I'll say that much. I love you for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye. <laughs>